Hi everyone. Today, to answer some audience requests on analyzing airline stocks, I'm going to discuss the major airline stocks. Four of them are in U.S. and one in Canada. We've all been hoping airlines to boom, but is it going to come soon? After this video, you have a better idea on which to buy, when to buy, and hopefully,、uh, what's the entry point. If later you find the video helpful, feel free to subscribe and turn on the notification bell anytime to get instant update reminder. First, let's talk about Southwest. The good point about Southwest is it has lots of liquidity, fifteen billion dollar cash and cash equivalents. That is only thirteen billion. Their cash is able to last them another nineteen months like this. Good credit enables them to get favorable term loans if they want, so they don't have to ask for government for aid. It is the world's largest low cost airline. When COVID is done, people would love to travel again. They have discounted flights、uh, to all the tourist hotspots year round just to get as many travelers as possible. The bad part is, they're cutting some flights in November. Passenger number for the third quarter is predicted to drop by over thirty percent, and they stopped flying one hundred thirty Boeing seven thirty seven due to the weight discrepancy on paper and in field. This will definitely lower the available capacity, leading to some cancelled flights. But currently, there are not many passengers anyway, so the damage isn't big. But personally, I believe investing in this airline gives the best profit loss ratio. The analyst twelve-month、uh, price target is thirty-six to fifty-four dollars, with an average of forty-two point eight eight. From the technical review, thirty-four to thirty-five is the supporting level. If thirty-four is broken, the next level is thirty-one. The short-term swing trading zone can be thirty-four to thirty-eight dollars. Its earning date is going to be on October twenty-second. Uh, the next one is Delta, ticker symbol DAL. The good part about Delta is、uh, it has enough cash to last it through the next year without seeking government support. With the retirement of planes in third quarter, they could save up to two point five billion dollars. Airbus may allow them to postpone taking over of forty、uh, new planes. They're also seeking to obtain nine nine billion dollar loan、uh, with their frequent flyer program. Ever since、uh, COVID nineteen started spreading, <clears throat> Delta have been renowned for their effort fighting the pandemic. Currently, they promise they will keep the middle seat empty at least before January two thousand twenty one. Before people are more comfortably coexisting with pandemic, this will attract lots of customers who cares about their safety. The cons, financial reports、uh, is about to come on October eighth. Their passenger number decreased about sixty、uh, percent, comparing with the third quarter last year. Forty percent of their planes are still parked there. Although Morgan Stanley still consider it's a buy for Delta,、uh, fewer hedge funds will hold it for long term. The analyst twelve month price target is thirty to fifty dollars. With an average of thirty-seven point eighty-three, from the technical support level, twenty-six to twenty-eight is pretty strong support. If broke twenty-six, then twenty-two is the next support. Twenty-six point five to thirty-one is the price range to perform a swing trade. However, its earning date is going to be on October eighth. I don't want to gamble on that, so I will wait till after earnings. If it got lower. Then maybe I will buy in at that time. UAL,、uh, United Airlines. The good part is、uh, UAL is the first carrier that will make COVID tests available to their customers. They'll start doing this on October fifteenth, and there will be no fourteen-day isolation、uh, if you're heading to Hawaii. If this runs well, then they'll expand the service to other destinations. They only have fourteen Boeing seven thirty seven Max, so not too much collaborative damage with Boeing. The cons: their cash is able to last them ten months if things are not getting better.
Their liability is uh, $25.1 billion. They lost $1.6 billion in the second quarter. And last year, the same quarter, they made about $1 billion. So they might have to take the government loan. However, nothing is free. Uh, there would definitely be unfavorable borrowing terms, like shares, restrictions to senior management bonus, etc. The analyst the 12 month price target is 25 to 43, uh, with an average of $35. From technical aspect, 31 to 32 is bottom. If broken, the next supporting level is 27 to 28. A swing trade price may be set at 33 to 37. They're supposed to release their earnings on October the 20th. AAL. The good part, AAL still occupies 10% of the global airline market, still one of the top players there. AAL just obtained $5.5 billion from the government last Friday. That will be able to last them six months. Two more billion may be on the way. The management shifted their focus to most profit, uh, profitable flights, cutting lines uh, between small cities. 150 airplanes are or will be retired to lower operation cost. They don't have short-term liabilities. The most recent one is due June 2022, so not worrying about bankruptcy for now. The bad part, their liability is huge. A $42 billion debt, almost seven times of its market value. They only have $13 billion cash. Passenger number of the third quarter is predicted to drop uh, about 60%, comparing with last year. The fourth quarter may be even worse. AAL's price is still under lots of pressure. The analyst's 12-month uh, price target is 9 to 18.5, with an average of 12. From technical aspect, 11 is the support. If, broke, if broken, then 10 is the next support. 11 to 12.8 can be the swing trade setting for now. I wouldn't mind getting in at 11, so when the market dives again, I'm going to sell some two weeks put options like I described in the previous video, collecting some money, and if it got exercised, no big deal. It's the price I want anyway. And by the way, their earnings are, is going to be released on October 22nd. Last but not least, Air Canada. Uh, the company has uh, $8.6 billion cash and cash equivalents, while the debt is uh, $8.3 billion. They have some cash reserved because they didn't buy back as much stocks as the U.S. airlines. It's the top airline Canada. If it survives the pandemic, it will take even more shares in the Canadian airline market. Senior management has uh, good cost-saving uh, measures, increasing their chance to last till the reliable vaccine came out. Uh, the bad part, now Air Canada's ma majority profit came from cargo shipping. However, this is nowhere near the gap caused by passenger dis decreasing. With the second uh, wave of COVID, uh, Canada may have more restriction for traveling and isolation than U.S., this may hurt Air Canada's business further. According to the analyst, in 12 months, the price target should be between 16 and 35. The average is 23. This can be used as a reference. I loaded up some Air Canada earlier this week at 15.3. If I'm given chance to load up more at 12, that's uh, perfect. However, I wouldn't hold it for that long. With the recent volatility, swing trading is the best strategy. Based on my bio knowledge, the first group of vaccine may not be that reliable if it is uh, rushed like this. Uh, 15 to 18 should be a good swing trade area before their earnings uh, November the 3rd. So in summary, if pandemic second wave comes again, or well, some say it already came, is there going to be another lockdown somewhere? Doesn't have to be in US. Canada, Europe, Asia, the air industry could get hurt again. Unnecessary trips are mostly canceled. In the next couple of years, there might be more people taking road trips. Airlines lost uh, lots of business class passengers, 
which used to be the major source of their revenue. The new online meeting and working from home strategy may affect the future business mode. Airlines uh, may lose uh, those cuts forever. On the other hand, although all of the airlines took a big hit and are facing challenges, you don't need to worry about any of them bankrupt recently. Southwest uh, looks best with good cash, low debt, great credit. Even the worst one, AAL, uh, is okay for at least another six to eight months. Is it time to buy and hold, then wait for the vaccine? The price has uh, tried to recover three times since the beginning of the year. It might continue swing like this for the next little while. Even with the vaccine, I would do a swing trade rather than hold it long term because those long term damage I mentioned before. The best time uh, could be after Delta released its earnings on October 8th. If the result is not optimal, then it's chance for us. Thank you for listening. See you next time.